The Federal Reserve's decision to raise interest rates won't have an immediate impact on inflation. Think about this now. Prices are already high, and now we're going to have to start paying higher interest rates. An 11 Live viewer reached out asking how the burden of higher interest rates will help the average consumer. Here's the answer, all new this morning. Whether it's at the grocery store or the gas station, our wallets are suffering. In an effort to bring inflation under control, the Federal Reserve is raising interest rates. Our bank accounts are stressed, and now we'll pay more interest on a car or home loan. And a little live viewer wonders how raising interest rates will help. Hi, this is Dorothea from Union City. Can you explain how this works? First, think about what happens when interest rates are low. It's easier to pay off a credit card bill or borrow money to buy a house, so it encourages spending. Demand for products is high, so prices soar. The goal when the Fed raises interest rates is to lessen the desire to spend, lowering prices. Dr. Ray Hill of Emory University's Gosueta Business School says the biggest impact is on the housing market and investments. And that's either investment by firms because it raises their cost of capital or uh, investment in housing, which is the, where the mortgage rates come in. By raising the interest rate a quarter of a percentage point now with the promise of six more hikes before the end of the year, the Fed is pumping the brakes on spending. Dr. Hill says jamming the brakes can lead to a recession. That would be a scenario like Alan Greenspan in, in late 80s, really. So when, when he met, made the Fed funds rate go up to 10 percent, that would be slamming on the brakes. Once the economy had time to recover from the 2008 recession, the Fed raised the interest rate five different times between 2017 and 2018, the last hike until now. 